Hi guys, some guys have asked me for some photographs of the bike, so I decided I would rather make a video. Okay, first things, let's have a look. This is not your normal RR, it is the full house version. If you go to the modes, you'll see you have five user modes firstly rain works very well then we have sport race this bike is very dangerous in race um, then slick with slick mode um, slick mode you have your control over here where you can set your dynamic uh, traction control on the fly minus seven plus seven dangerous mode you really need to know what you're doing when you ride this bike in that mode otherwise you have a problem this bike has no problem coming up on the back wheel in race mode at about 250 to 300 so in slick mode beware then um, we have user mode user mode i have never used it um is where you can set up the bike and you need to set everything your shock dampening your gyro your torque everything um, this is where you want somebody that's really experienced in dyno tuning and dyno tune the bike and um, set it up in user mode and I would recommend that mode for track use only um, this bike is wicked. It eats up buses and H2 for breakfast. So, yeah, be careful about that. As you can see, 6,727 on the clock. Um, brand new, it's uh, about four months old. Um, awesome bike. Uh, if the doctor didn't say I can't ride super bike anymore, there's no way this bike could be sold. But anyhow, um, it is as it is. So let's go through the rest of the bike and what I've done. Okay. The bike has flip up racing levers, has the HP lever protectors, it has the full racing sticker kit which I will show you um, it's a full quick shifter pro which is up down and up and down gear uh, clutchless shifting very very awesome um, tail tidy has been fitted so your number plate doesn't hang down the middle of your wheel which is awesome Makes the bike really look good. Uh, this rear end on this bike is just amazes me. I love this. This taillight is amazing. Um, LED indicators. Acropovic. HP forged rims. It's not just standard rims. These rims alone cost uh, 30 grand. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this bike's really, 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 really a cool bike. Um, it's got the RNG racing crash bobbins. It has a racing air cleaner inside there. It is um, got the RNG, uh, you can't really see there, but inside there it has the RNG uh, racing oil and radiator protectors very needed don't want to pick up a stone going through your radiator um, full racing sticker decal kit as you can see let's turn the phone this way and we can get more of the bike.
So, I always think a video is a little bit better than a couple of pictures because you can actually see what the bike is and what it is all about. Yeah, so the bike cost me around about 300 grand with all the extras that I've put on it. Um, the dealer offered me 180, they're picking it up on Thursday. I've already emailed them. Uh, I've accepted the offer, so anybody wanting the bike before then, I've been asked for the couple of pictures. Um, you'd be getting an awesome bike. This bike is, I would say, the fastest machine on the road at the moment. Handling is amazing. You can sit in corners at speeds that I never thought possible. This is really, really an awesome bike. It's very light. No need to, as you can see, I can move it around with one hand. Doesn't weigh much. Those rims make a huge difference. Um, yeah, I don't know what else you would like me to tell you, but this bike is superb. I would never let it go if it wasn't uh, the doctor's orders. So as you can see, I've taken a lot of pride and I've looked after this bike like you can't believe. These protectors make a huge difference. St stops the event of anything bumping and pulling your brake, which is also racing, and flip up lever. Um, you have your adjustment here. As you can see, the bike is very, 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 very neat. It's first service was done at Stellenbosch where I bought it, where it will be going back to on Thursday. Um, its second service is only due at 10,000. It's only got six, seven on the clock, so you still got a ways to go before second service. But what an awesome machine. I changed the rear tire to a Dunlop, and I must say, um, it's a Sport Max. It is an awesome tire. I chewed up the Pirelli Corsa in 3000 Ks. I've done 3.7 on this tire, and as you can see, it still looks awesome. And let me tell you something, Riding back from West Virginia all the way here in the torrential downpour, that tire sat like glue and I was really, really riding at some awesome speeds. So, still got a Pirelli Corsa on the front. The front has not given me any problems. The tire is still awesome. Um, I think combination of that Dunlop on the back and the Pirelli on the front works like a charm. Bike is almost brand new, guys. Nothing else I can say other than you can see for yourself how clean this bike is. It would be a sin to let it stand here and not let me ride 
and let it go to waste here in my garage. So I'd rather have it in the hands of somebody who appreciates super bikes and an awesome, awesome machine. This bike is fully kitted. It's got heated grips. It's got launch control. It's got pit lane limiter. You name it, this guy's got it. It's got your lap and your trip and uh, this, this bike's ready. You, it's not your standard walk in by your RR with three modes and walk out. This bike is fully track ready. Once you have it set up for dynode and set up on user mode and you want to go track and it's something you can do and you can ride, I think you will chew up the track. This is an awesome machine. I thought a video would be more justice than the actual pictures. So there's the bike. Sorry, video is a bit shaky, but yeah. Enjoy. Whoever gets it, if the guys, the two guys that are interested, uh, take it before Thursday morning when the trailer arrives to collect it. You'll be buying yourself one hell of a machine.